everybody, Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. We are here for my weekly grocery haul. But first, we're gonna talk about what happened last week. So last week you guys didn't see a grocery haul. That's because I wasn't feeling well and I didn't even actually go grocery shopping until I think Wednesday or Thursday. Let me tell you guys what I got and what I spent. November, I'm trying to do a low spend month, but I'm letting myself buy stuff if I want it. So um, you're going to see as I talk about what I got right up here, some of the stuff of that I bought last week. So I've got my receipt right here from last week and I got a loaf of French bread for this price right here. $2.49. Got that because I was going to make potato soup last week. I didn't make it last week. So we're going to make it this week. You're going to see it on the meal plan. And then I went ahead and got some squeeze cheese because they had it on sale. And I love squeeze cheese and so does my family. And with the holidays coming up, I went ahead and grabbed some because we like to for the holidays, um, spray some inside of celery, eat it on crackers, all of that good stuff. It was normally $4.59 and it had a $2 coupon, so $2.59. So I got one sharp cheddar, one American, and one regular cheddar, I think is what it is. Then I got some eggnog, you guys. I didn't even get any eggnog last year because we didn't find any. So $3.69, let me show you guys really quick. It's still in here. And I'm actually probably gonna show you guys the pantry and what we've got going on. But I love eggnog, $3.69. We have not opened it. It is going to be a treat because eggnog is super expensive nowadays. And a lot of times in our store, I can't even find it. So I bought some eggnog. That was a want and not a need. I bought two gallons of milk. They were $3.29 a piece. And so let's see, actually we had a sell. So it was $3.29 minus 80 cents. So there's the price right there for milk. And I have milk on my list this week, but I didn't need two gallons, but I'll tell you guys why I grabbed two. I grabbed a cucumber for 69 cents, a head of iceberg lettuce for $1.69, some sliced mushrooms for $2, an orange bell pepper for $1.25, raspberries for $1.77, a tomato for 72 cents, and then the last thing that I grabbed um, was definitely just a quick and easy thing to grab. I grabbed myself a sushi roll from our grocery store. We do have the sushi guys there making sushi and it's pretty yummy. So it was $5.99. So last week out of our $125 budget, we spent $33.04. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's talk about our meal plan this week and what we got. So here is our meal plan for this week. On a Monday eat out, I'm actually going out with a friend of mine having dinner. A hubby is on his own. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and do that potato soup with French bread. I'm also going to make up a salad. That's what I had gotten the mushrooms, the cucumbers, the orange bell pepper, that stuff for. Then on Wednesday, we've got some pork loin steaks that are wrapped in bacon. We're going to go ahead and do those. We're going to do some potatoes in the air fryer and some sort of veggie. On Thursday, we're going to do some chicken street tacos, and we're going to do either beans or yellow rice. We usually don't need both, especially since it's just my husband and I. On Friday, we're going to do our homemade pizza. Saturday will be leftovers. And on Sunday, we're going to do chicken fried steaks with mashed potatoes, gravy, and corn. And I actually have some pork steaks um, that are cubed, like cube steak. And so we're going to try that out. So that's our meal plan for the week. And then here are my groceries here. I've put this on my rolling island that my husband built for me. Absolutely love it. It folds in half and it goes right there. What you see right there right now are Christmas trees. Um, for any of you guys that don't know, I will be doing Vlogmas on this channel and I am Christmas crazy. So let's go ahead and talk about what we got and why. So we've got shredded hash browns right here. We got these because we don't have any in the freezer and they were on sale three for five bucks. That is an amazing deal. And then right here, I've got some limes and some cilantro. One for street tacos, the cilantro's for street tacos, and other limes um, because I got some gin because I wanted a gin and tonic. And then I grabbed some more olives. I said I was done grabbing olives. I lied. That happens. They had plenty back in stock. They were on sale for $1.39. And I have an Ibotta deal for 20 cents off. So these are going to cost me a dollar nine. And then there in the back, we've got some eggs. We love going to our egg dealers for eggs. But of course, with the time of year, their chickens are not producing as much. And so these eggs were on sale. Let me find them. They were $1.59 a dozen. So I grabbed two dozen. And then I told you guys I didn't need two gallons of milk, but I went ahead and grabbed two gallons of milk. That's because my store had, if you buy two gallons, then you save extra money. So, you know, they twisted my arm. 
And so the milk for both of the gallons was $7.58, but then I got $1.60 off. So it actually broke down to $2.99 a piece. And then for soda, I went ahead and grabbed some two liters. They had the Pepsi two liters on sale. Normally they're $2.99 and they, let's see, what does it show here? My store does things so weird. So normally these four Diet Pepsis right here would have been $11.96, but I got $6 off. So I got four for $5.96, not too shabby. And then I grabbed some tonic water. This will go on our bar cart to go along with the gin. And so for the tonic water, these were pretty cheap. They were $1.89 a piece. So, uh, you know, none of this stuff is really needed except for the produce. And then my friend Shannon over at Kitchen Shenanigans, we were talking about the Giardelli chocolate chips being on sale two for five. And I talked about how I usually don't buy them because they're too expensive. And she talked me into grabbing some. She said, these are the best for chocolate chips. My husband is a huge white chocolate fan, and I just like semi-sweet or milk chocolate. So they were still on sale, two for five. So I grabbed two white and two semi-sweet before they went off sale. So $10 in chocolate chips. And then I always make a pistachio dessert um, during the holiday season, usually for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, things like that. Normally I get the name brand pudding mix, and I've already got two in my pantry, but they didn't have any, and these were on sale for 69 cents. So we're gonna give it a whirl. Um, 69 cents for four of those, so not too shabby. And then my husband was all out of horseradish, so he asked me to go ahead and grab some horseradish. And we are growing our own horseradish, so I'm hoping next year that we're able to figure out how to use our own, but this wasn't too bad, $2.99, and it lasts him quite a while. So nothing too exciting in the grocery list today. And so these groceries today were $49.67. So a little bit higher than I wanted, but you know, I did get soda that I didn't need. I did get those black olives. And so this is when you look at my receipt, you can see that black olives were normally $2.39 a piece. We got a dollar off of those. And then of course we got those hash browns, you know, all the good stuff. Next, let's go ahead and talk about pantry. A lot of you guys, if you're brand new to my channel, you're probably looking at this going, um, how are you feeding your family or how are you feeding your husband and I? So of course I obviously have a prepper pantry. Some people um, argue with me that my pantry is a prepper pantry. I don't care. I call it a prepper pantry because I'm prepared for things and it is my food security. One of the things that I did just this week, I'm super excited, is I put my large bottles of spices in these mason jars with the wood toppers and I'm loving it so far. So I'm missing paprika and then I'm gonna start making my own taco seasoning. I haven't done it before, but I'm going to get inspired and I'm gonna do it. So let's go ahead, let's look at the canning shelf because some stuff has changed. Um, let's look at the fridge, it's not very full. Um, we'll kind of look at the cupboards. We're gonna give you a full tour today of what I normally share on YouTube. Some stuff I don't share, just so you guys know, but I do share quite a bit. So let's go ahead and flip you around. All right, so I went ahead and put the cold stuff away really quick, so you are gonna see that. But let's go ahead and talk about the canning shelf. You can see there's lots of empty jars. I have a lot of canning I want to do, but we still have lots of items to eat for the next couple years. We've got beef stew, pulled pork, chili beans, chicken soup. We've got a ton of potatoes. I did a huge batch of um, apple butter. We've got peach jelly, we've got raspberry, we've got three pepper jelly. We've got canned mushrooms, we've got jalapeno candy, jalapeno jelly, we've got pickled asparagus, we've got apple pie filling. This right here is just hot cocoa. We've got salsa. And these jars right here, that is actually the brine to make more jalapenos, so we're gonna do that. We've got spaghetti and meatballs, regular meatballs. We've got chicken and black beans. And then down here we have my four jars, canning lids and more jars. And then up here you can see lots of empties up at the top. We've got canned chicken up there. We've got carrots, salsa, pickles, and pineapple. <laughs> we've got rhubarb, pickled onions, pizza sauce, onion jam, and then we've got apple juice, pineapple juice. Um, what I called apple sauce, it's my was my first time trying to make pineapple jelly. I didn't cook it high enough. And so we eat it with ham or something, you know, it just tastes like applesauce except for with pineapples, it's yummy. And then we have got one of my favorite things right here, which I call my CPA relish. This is cranberry pear apple relish. We have got the peach salsa I made this year. We have got lots of applesauce, more apple pie fillings. Um, this right here is my rhubarb barbecue sauce and I still need to make rhubarb barbecue sauce. I've still got rhubarb in the freezer. We've got more canned chicken. 
We've got my meals in a jar. I've got kind of a chicken soup and a beef soup in a jar. We've got canned beef, beef stock, and then we've got canned um, ground beef, canned bacon, and then we've got chicken stock and more empty jars down there at the bottom. And of course, for anybody that hasn't seen my kitchen before, this is what my kitchen looks like. The only kind of food that I really have in my kitchen um, is up here. So I've got all of my baking needs and my spices and oils and vinegars and salt and stuff. All of that's up here. So uh, this is how I organize. And you guys, I didn't clean before I'm showing you this. And then this one right here, we just had uh, some more room show up because I took the big containers of spice off of here. So that's going to be really nice. And then of course, we're going to bring some of the baking stuff from all the way up there uh, down to this shelf because there's a little bit more room. All right. And the other cupboards are dishes. And then here are all of these spices. And I absolutely love what they turned out like. And then we've got an onion and some garlic. We've got our drink cupboard here. And so we've got coffee filters up there. We've got tang. We've got Milo. We've got tea. We've got sugar. We've got more tea. We've got cinnamon in here. This is the food that we're eating right now. So up at the top, we've got some back storage. And so we've got cereal. We've got peanut butter. We've got honey, tea, chia seeds, vitamins. Um, this is where I keep my bread flour for now. Malted milk protein powder, peanut butter, you know, all the things and stuff. And then this cupboard is kind of hard to get to, so I don't use it a ton for a lot of stuff. Um, we've got ramen up there. We've got some things that are at the top of the list to use up on our meal plan. Um, we've got lots of croutons. And then we have got some onions um, to go on our green bean casserole. And then we've got some fun drizzled popcorn. That's for a movie night. So uh, that is all the food that I actually have in my kitchen besides my fridge and my freezer in here. And I did not clean this either. So please forgive me. <laughs> it's certainly not full. You can see that we do, in fact, eat what we buy. We try to waste very little. One thing that I've been trying very hard is the produce. So you'll notice the bottom drawer is completely empty. That's because of my husband and I, we just don't eat as much. We are condiment people, so you'll see all kinds of condiments on here. Some homemade, some store-bought, all of that good stuff. So all the way down there. So that's what my fridge looks like right now. And this freezer is the main freezer that I cook out of right here. And so it's kind of a mess right now, but it is what it is. <laughs> so this is what we've got. We've got some hamburger buns that got put in there because we didn't want them to go to bad. We have got cheese for a stuffed crust pizza. There's the pork we're going to do. There's the sausage that will go on our pizza. We have got our ice cream in there. We've got all kinds of produce and frozen things to cook with. So uh, that is that. And then on the shelf, we've got a couple bread products, a little bit of chorizo and some cold packs. So uh, that is the freezer. And this is my favorite cheese that I get from um, Sam's Club. It's the shredded cheese and it's so yummy, but we can't eat the whole bag. So we just pull it out a little bit and let it thaw and throw it in our salads. All right, I warn you guys, have not cleaned anything. When you walk into my pantry, the first thing you see is my refrigerator and my freezer. So let's go ahead and start here. So uh, this is another working refrigerator freezer combo. So I just put those hash browns in top on the top so you can see we do have some room here. We've got some cream of mushroom. Um, we've got all kinds of yeast back there. And we've got some bacon that didn't seal, so I threw it in there. And we've got some ready-made meals is mainly what's in here. We've got smoked pork. My husband drinks decaf coffee every now and then. Um, this is my homemade strawberry and raspberry freezer jams. And so you can see that this is certainly not clean. Welcome to the real world. So all of this meat in here is either pre-cooked or pre-marinated. And then over here, we have got my homemade cream of mushroom soup. You guys know, if you watch my channel, I love getting guacamole on sale. So I've moved that here. I've got hummus. And then here, these right here, these are bacon grease so that we can use those in the future. And let's take a look at the fridge. Again, it has not been cleaned, so it is pretty dirty looking. So just a little bit of stuff there. We've got our cream cheese. 
We've got some adult beverages, some water, some chamoy. Here I bought a couple heavy cream a couple weeks ago. So those are there. We've got pickle juice. We save pickle juice. We've got cheese. I know that shocks you. We've got more cheese. There's the eggs that we just bought. We've got one thing of soda. There's the milk we bought plus the one more. We've got sour cream, cottage cheese. Down here, bottled water, adult beverages. So that is that. And then we get to the big shelf for the prepper pantry. So up at the top, um, we've got all kinds of things. I'm kind of trying to get better organized with this stuff. A lot of stuff up here is canning stuff. If you look, I do have, um, you know, vinegars to can with. I've got the clear gel. I've got rings. I've got pickle crisp, you know, things like that. I also have an overflow of vegetables and tomato products there. I've got the big things of chicken broth, vegetable broth, beef broth back there. These are our milk products right here. We've got powdered milk, oat milk, and almond milk. And it looks like we need to start drinking up that oat milk. We've got lemon juice. We've got ramen right there. I think that's beans. Yep, that's beans. And that right there is... Um, one of the supplements that I take and I ordered too much. So we've got lots of tomato products, right? So tomato products all across here. Um, this chicken broth and beef broth are getting emptier because I am no longer going to buy them this way. I'm either going to make it myself or just use um, the bouillon stuff. So of course we love this bacon from Sam's Club. If you guys have tried it. So there are some beef base and such and we've got tuna and clams and canned ham and canned chicken and spam and you guys my hubby and i tried the spam light we actually prefer this over the regular spam and the reason why is that sodium this has 25 percent less sodium in it love that so then we have got some onion soup mix we need to do um some onion dip during the holiday season we need to cook a roast and some onions we've got our mashed potatoes we've got lots of pasta um there's actually more pasta behind there this is just one turkey stuffing suddenly salad there's the yellow rice that i mentioned pasta roni mac and cheese um we have got some velveta so we'll probably do some queso over the holidays as well this is where we keep our loaf of bread my husband just grabbed it out of the freezer We've got all of our beans here. I am trying to get lower on beans so that I can start canning my own. And we've got baked beans. We've got a couple beef stew. And so I do have my navy beans here to go ahead and get some beans canned up, some baked beans. We've got some fruit, some pumpkin, all the good stuff like that. And then we've got pickles and peppers and relish. And then we go down to our canned veggies. And we've got green chilies and water chestnuts and we've got olives. And look at, I just bought more olives and no, the new olives are not on here yet. And we've got our Mexican um, section right here. We've got green enchilada sauce, red enchilada sauce, and then we've got some soups and such. And you can see the soups are definitely dwindling down. And then down here on the bottom, we've got lots of peanut butter and jelly. We've got honey. We've got peanuts. We've got lots of baking things. We've got lots of condiments back here. Salsas, mayonnaise, Miracle Whip, um, usually mustard, but there's none back there. And we don't, we're not buying bottled ranch anymore. We've decided we're going to make our own. So that's a big change. And then underneath, you can't see them really good because I've got stuff stacked in front of them. But I do have flour, sugar, and rice in these containers down here. I have a more... Um, food safe buckets on their way to get more of this bread flour put away. And you guys, I had done a fundraiser for potatoes. So I've got red potatoes here and Yukons and you can see they're starting to sprout a little bit, but not too bad. I'm going to be working on canning some more of those up. And then I'm also going to be making potato soup and trying to eat them up. And then here we have got a few of our buckets. We've got the smaller ones here that I like to use. So I've got baking flour, sugar, rice, that type of stuff here. And that's just our dirty laundry. And then we turn around and you get more of our prepper pantry. And so these oats are one of the things that are going to be going into uh, food safe buckets um, because I grabbed those two and there's no way we're going to eat them before um, the Best Buy date, which is coming up soon or has already passed. So we're going to go ahead and get those into long-term storage. There's my husband's coffee stock there. And then you guys, this used to have more spices on it, which cracks me up because I don't know how I fit more on it. Um, but this is the type of stuff that is in my jars over there. And so we've got so much. I don't know why I have so much garlic salt, you guys. Holy cow. <laughs> but we have got all of this. And then up at the top, we've got our breakfast, our 
oatmeal, our cereals. Um, we've got tea, hot chocolate. I'm going to be pulling these fun Lucky Charms Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cinnamilk and that type of stuff out during the holidays. And then up here, this is a big basket full of chips. We have got more drinks and more vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a baking section here so you can see I don't know if you guys can see but I've got molasses back there because we're making our own brown sugar um, I don't use a lot of Crisco but of course in emergency situations it's amazing we've got hot cocoa we've got vanilla we've got sprays we've got vegetable oil and we are overflowing for the baked mixes here so we're going to be trying to use those up and look at you guys do you think I needed chocolate chips do you see this basket here full of chocolate chips and frostings and powdered sugar, cranberries, and we have got more pasta, more pasta, you guys. This is the pasta basket here. I keep some Chinese noodles there, some chow mein noodles. Those go in one of the salads that we make. And then we've got crackers and we've got snacks. And so you can see all the stuff. We've got open ones, we've got empty ones. So there's the squeeze cheese that I bought right there. And here is the pistachio jello that I prefer, but they didn't have it. So we're going to just keep on rolling with that. Down here, we've kind of got a hodgepodge. We've got breakfast stuff and we've got some snacky stuff because I went ahead and picked up some graham crackers. I like having those around for Christmas. We've got quinoa. We have got wild rice. We've got grits. We've got white rice. We've got more crackers and more croutons. <laughs> and then we've got some drinks down here. We don't drink a lot of bottled water, but we like to keep it around. And so we do have a few different kinds of soda and some Fairlife chocolate milk, as I like to call it, a couple juices. And then non-food items, I'm not going to talk about a lot of stuff. Um, you're just going to have to look and see what we've got. Paper goods, I'm not going to talk about them a lot. I mean, I think you guys can see there's paper plates, forks, cups. Um, there are sponges, saran wrap. <laughs> <laughs> food saver bags, all of that kind of stuff. And then my Scentsy stuff. And then it drops down into my husband's tools and stuff. And of course, this is the laundry stuff that we're using right now. And on top of my dryer, I do like to keep paper towels up there. And then we like these metal tins to smoke in and also to do freezing reels. All right, let's go out to the garage. So here we are in the garage and we put a child safety lock on this freezer just to make sure it doesn't get left open because earlier this year it got left open not for too long but it was the summer so of course it frosted all up and what a pain in the butt. So we've got a little bit of a mess going on. You know, I'm not going to lie to you about that. It happens. So we have got on the top shelf we've got heavy cream, um, cream cheese, butter. We've got lunch meats up there. We've got home grated mozzarella back there, street taco tortillas, whipped topping. We've got more tortillas back there, blue cheese. We've got sausages. We have got the bacon. My husband just shredded some cheese, so he threw it right there. And back there's our guacamole stash. It is getting a little bit lower. We've got more jams. We've got more whipped topping. My husband put cheese everywhere. <laughs> I just noticed that here's another bag of cheese. It will fit more on the uh, shelf. And I just noticed we're out of bread and he didn't tell me he pulled the last bread. So we've got burgers, we've got chicken, we've got pork. Um, like I said, normally there's no cheese there. So there's some cube steak down there. And then of course we've got more pork down here. We've got more chicken. And then on the shelf here, we're getting through this stuff pretty dang good. We've got sausages here, meatballs, hot dogs, little smokies. These will be used up during the holidays. So those will be gone and some more shredded cheese. And then normally there's bread right here, but there is none. And he didn't tell me to replace it. So, all right, let's check the next freezer. All right, you guys. And then here we are in the next freezer. And my husband just got home and he's like, we moved the bread, remember? And I had totally forgotten. So we have got my husband's wild boar right here. We've still got turkey here that I need to do turkey broth with. And you can see that this is just kind of a hodgepodge because we need to do some cleaning up. We've got buns in here. We've got a turkey. We've got meat. We've got cheese. We've got pepperoni. We've got all kinds of good stuff. And then look at right here. We do have some bread, so that's a good thing. And then let me show you one last freezer, and then we're all done. All right, everybody, here's our last freezer. We're actually in my office, and so this is my freezer 
for mostly fruits and vegetables. And so you can see we are jam packed full here as well. We also have bread, we have nuts. Um, and we are going to try to get some more canning done. These are those strawberries that if you guys watch my grocery hauls, these are the ones that I got on super duper clearance. They look amazing. These bread bowls, we should probably get those eaten up, but look at all of the strawberries to can up. And so down here, we have got more fruit to can up. We've got rhubarb, we've got blueberries, and we do have frozen avocados in there. Avocados freeze amazing, you guys. So if you find a great deal in avocados, make sure you grab that. Um, I'm not going to dig everything out, but you guys can see that we are pretty much max capacity. All right, everybody, that's it for this week's grocery haul, along with an update on our prepper pantry. Till I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody.